I feel like of all videos, this was the one that I don't want to read the comment section on, but we're going to do it anyway. Hi everybody, my name is Eric. I have been a leathersmith for 18 years. My business is called Quarter Leather. You're watching the Quarter Leather YouTube channel. Today, we are going to cautiously review some vegan leather options, but they're not just any vegan leather options. They are all plant-based, reportedly, plant-based vegan leather options that we can possibly use to make handmade products using the techniques we use in regular leather for people who choose not to wear animal products. In our selection today, the cactuses are grown for the cactus leather, but the pineapples are grown to eat, and the grapes are grown to make wine out of in Italy. So, the one thing that a lot of these share is that they are byproducts materials. You will also notice that most of the leathers are bound, so you have the material on the front that is made from the plant. On the back, on all of these, is recycled polyurethane, uh, polyester, not polyurethane. Um, recycled polyester. It is very plasticky smelling, as I sit here with all of these right below my nose. Um, but it is what it is, you have to bind it to something, so we're gonna give it a try today. So I have a list here. We're gonna see how this stuff cuts, glues, stitches, edges. Uh, maybe we'll do some abrasion tests. I wanna see how flammable this stuff is because I have a feeling it's a lot of polyesters, that kind of thing. I think a lot of it is recycled or it's advertised as recycled, but who knows? So this is our first one. This is the pineapple leather. It's not leather at all. You can see it's fuzzy here. You can see flecks of pineapple stuff in it, which is cool. Um, but it cuts it. It's, it's got a layer of plastic on the top. Um, and the back is, it's like batting basically. So the thing I do want to do, let me go get a cup of water. Uh, I want to do a flame test. Okay. Pineapple leather. The reason we're testing this is to see. Oh yeah. Tap. Now, for comparison, let's try a piece of regular leather. There we go. We have vegetable tanned leather here. See, it's the sign, my Baco guy sign. We light this on fire. It's, it doesn't burn. It doesn't catch flame. It smells horrible, but you're never gonna catch it on fire. Unless you're in like a house fire. Because, it's a natural skin, it's natural fiber. Whereas this burning, the pineapple isn't burning. Um, it's just all the plastic used, both the top coat, the filler, etc. All right, here's the grape leather. Yeah, same thing. Oh, I got dripped on. Now this one is the one I'm most excited about because it's the most hyped. This is Deserto. Deserto? I don't know how to say it. Um, this is made from cactus and recycled polyester according to the website. There are recycled fillers and it's kind of bound together. So this is feels much more like a traditional leather. The back still feels like a synthetic if you're used to leather, but if you're not, I can definitely see how, because this is a little more rigid, um, it's a little more firm, I can see how someone who hasn't worked with a lot of leather, this will feel a lot more like regular leather. Let's burn it. This one I've heard really burns well. <laughs> yeah, that's going up. So this has a, oh wow. Okay. This one's very flammable. Yeah, so I know some suppliers who have tried to carry this and in their testing, it was just too much plastic. Um, and I can see why that whole side went up and it burned really fast. Uh, this one has a kind of a weird chemical smell to it as well. I noticed when I took the hide out, the other two do not. Um, 
So there is that as well. But let's keep going because if all we care about is that these aren't animal products, then someone still might want to use them. Okay, so right off the bat, that burn test alone, um, cutting is fine for the deserto. Uh, don't really like cutting the grape one that much. It, it does feel a lot more like, uh, like a fabric material. Um, the problem I have already is that there's so much plastic in this that it's just going to be horrible for the environment. Um, I think people don't really tend to, the thing that gets misconstrued is cowhide is a byproduct of the meat industry. No cows are ever harvested just for their skin. Um, during the pandemic, cowhides were, they cost negative money. So tanneries were getting paid to take them off of the supplier's hands and make them into leather. Uh, the other thing is that leather breaks down over time when you bury it and put it in the landfill, etc. This stuff is not going to because it's plastic. Even if it's recycled plastic, unless you recycle it again, um, it's just going to sit in a landfill forever. So right away, I wouldn't be interested in this. Um, but we're going to keep using it because somebody might out there might, and it is a vegan option. If all you care about is that it's not animal skin, these are options. So let's just keep going. We're gonna, um, we've cut it. We're gonna cut some little card holder type things, glue it up, stitch it, try some edge work, see how everything goes. We're gonna cut some swatches here. I was gonna make wallets, but I wanna like really focus on how it works, not making a piece. So this is the grape, that was the cactus. Uh, ruler cutting. This one's weird, yeah. This one's, the grape is weird. It works more like a fabric than a leather. The cactus works more like a leather. And we'll just cut some pieces here. This is like, it doesn't stretch, but when you cut it, it feels elastic. I don't think we're gonna be able to get edges on these, but we'll see. Okay, this is pretty wild. <laughs> it feels completely dry like it's sunk in here. So let's see how this glues up. The grape one. They both do. They both feel like carpet now. Which I guess is to be expected. So let's glue them up and see how it goes. on that one. So this is the first coat of glue. This is the gray leather and it fully sunk in. Like I said, this is more fabric feeling on this side and I've never seen any material do this before. This is like, that's, they hold shoes together with this stuff where we got the big guns out. So it's basically just sunk in and we need to do another coat. Uh, and we'll see if we can get it to stick after that. I guess basically what we're going to end up doing is saturating this whole thing, the whole back side of this with glue, until glue will sit at the top of it, sit on top of it, I guess. Um, which will probably stiffen it up, I would imagine. Either way, though, this is not like working with leather at all. Cactus leather is doing the same thing. This at least has a little bit of stick, but nowhere near what it needs to be. So... Now the other thing you have to remember is this, this contact adhesive, this cement, contact cement, this is what you use to glue like countertops <laughs> on to wood with. So it's not that it's only meant for leather or only meant for shoes or, I mean, you can glue rubber soles onto shoes with this stuff. Um, I think it's just the way that they make this to try to make it feel like a suede they're essentially just creating like a high pile backside of this stuff. And if you're going to make like a wallet or anything that you want to line or glue together, it's apparently going to be much more of a process to try to get it to stick. And we're really only trying to, I'm not going to be a stickler about it. I just want to, oh yeah, I think that's going to be way better. 
Um, I just want to get to the point where I can roll this, use my roller, stick these together, and then glue them together. That's, it doesn't need to be structural, like a stitchless watch strap or anything like that. I think it worked. For the horse hair a little bit, but... It worked. So grape leather, two coats. This is the the nice thing about the I've got a bunch of glue on it. See that? Admittedly, I'm not being super careful with the glue. There's a test here. So there are solvents in this glue, and nothing came off. I could use I'll use a an eraser to get the rest of that off if I need to. But for now, I'm just gonna see if the glue works. On, this is the cactus leather. Second layer of glue, just like the grape. So getting this cement off works with chrome tan leathers, does not work with veg tan leathers. You just stain the veg tan um, most of the time. Works with this stuff though. Let's see how our, it, nope. <laughs> So, I'm trying to mark a stitch line, and it doesn't. You can see it a little bit. You wouldn't be able to use a stitching groove or anything like that for sure. Cactus leather time. Making a stitch line. Ooh, that actually works way more like regular leather. Okay, pleasantly surprised. Now let's punch and see how this works. Feels way more like regular leather on this as well. So it sews pretty similar to leather. This part though. We'll see what happens. Now you could use one of the threads zip things. Um, oh, you can melt the thread just fine. So this is the cactus leather. I sewed up the grape leather too. It's fine as well. Um, so let's hammer these stitches down and see which one performs better for that. After hammering it, uh, no marks at all. And it did close up the holes. So in that sense, it does perform like leather more than fabric. All right, so no way this is gonna work, but to say, just for the sake of being thorough, here's some tokenol, full strength. This is the cactus leather. Any shine we do get is going to be from the acrylic resin inside of it. And now it's not even... What it's doing is it's bringing out the all that glue that we had to put in. I don't know if you can see that, but that's not good. All right. I guess we'll try the grape just to see we did it. But that's going to be the same story. So the next thing we can move on to is... Um, no reason to edge dye it, we're just going to go to paint. We're going to use edge paint on the stitch side. Yeah, this, there's no reason to do this either. Giardini Brown on the grape leather. I have this mostly painted and what's happening is it's doing the same thing that the glue did. It's just sinking straight into that backing fabric stuff. So this is the grape leather. I wasn't going to try the cactus leather, but we'll see if the cactus does the same thing because it was a little bit better than the grape was with absorbing the glue. It didn't absorb it as much. 
So let's see if it absorbs this. And the thing of it is too, if you get paint on the edge, you can just wipe it off because it's not a natural fiber. So it's, it really is just coated on the outside and everything kind of bubbles or I don't want to say bubble. Um, everything pools on the top of it with whatever coating it has. This is actually not sinking in like the grape leather does or did. So we should have a pretty nice edge on this with the edge paint. On the cactus, you can see, really see the difference as it dries, how that edge paint is staying on top of the fabric or the polyester, or whatever you want to call it, that's used as the flesh side of the leather, quote unquote. It's not absorbing as much. So it's acting more like regular leather. Well, it got, it's nighttime now, <laughs> and I'm four coats of edge paint deep on both of these, and it just keeps sinking in. I have no idea what you would have thought by now it would dry and bring it to the top. It's not doing it. So both the cactus, I, I don't know how you're supposed to, grape cactus, no idea how you're supposed to finish the edges besides doing like a rolled seam. And I looked up products made out of this stuff, and it seems to be either a raw seam or a rolled seam. I didn't see anything painted just yet, but... Not a lot of small crafters are making anything by hand with this stuff, and it's 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 thin, so you're you're limited to what you can make with it um, for now. Am I going to switch to this? I don't think so. I think it's a couple generations away from being something that my style of making is. It suits my style of making, which is no machines, um, all everything by hand. It's just not. It's not there yet. But I am excited. I think the cactus leather is. As far as just being a material and how the material handles, the cactus leather is close. Now, the things that I don't like about this, about these different leathers, um, it, I'm sure I'll get flack for this in the comments. The grape leather bugs, bugs me because, how do I say this? Vineyards are just as superfluous as the cattle industry, if we're going to go that route, right? We haven't had to brew beer or make wine so that the liquids we ingested didn't kill us for thousands of years. And vineyards, especially commercial vineyards, use tons of pesticides. They take thousands of acres of land and they're responsible for a lot of deforesting. So the fact that this is, the grape leather is made from the skins, stems, and leaves of grapes from the wine industry is, sure, that's fine. But it's, we're, it's just seems like we're replacing one thing for another to me. And the thing that I don't like about it is where you have benefits of, let's say, okay, um, a vineyard doesn't produce methane gas. Totally understandable. Uh, a cattle farm does. But this stuff only lasts a, not even 10 years from, per the website. It's rated at 50,000 dry abrasions, and they estimate it's about 10 years for both of these, I think. Um, so while... A, a meter of this takes half as much water as it does to tan a piece of leather, it lasts a quarter of the time. So you're going to have to replace this four times when you would never, you wouldn't have to replace leather, you could just repair it. Um, that I have, I think there's a little bit of a uh, conflict of ideas there. Um, I, I think personally the leather still wins out as far as uh, I would much rather get something that I have to repair than something I have to throw away and replace, uh, especially with something that is not biodegradable and has, even though it's recycled, a polyester backing. Polyester is still plastic. It still does not break down in landfills. And I'm wondering if by attaching this plant-based leather, leather to the top of the polyester, you can recycle a poly cotton blend. Can you recycle? I don't know if there's technology to recycle this or if they use the recycled poly and then it has to be thrown away afterwards. Those are all questions I have, but it's more just me. That's my own personal. You could look at it and say, well, it's not an animal. And that's the, those are the morals that I have. So I'm going to use it because it's not an animal and I don't care about anything else. And that's totally fine. Totally cool. Um, I think the main point of this video is just to tell you that the cactus works the closest to leather. If you're making stuff by hand, the grape is okay. I think if you're sewing by machine and you're making bags and you're used to using garment style leather or upholstery 
excuse me, upholstery leather, you're going to be much more comfortable working with this than if you're used to using hand sewing and using saddle leather like I am. Um, not super psyched it's that flammable, but I th it just it's because there's it's covered even though they're recycled it's it's covered in plastic so um, it'll catch fire and melt and leather will not. Um, other than that, it stitches okay. It's really it's easy on the fingers to to hand sew. Uh, everything soaks into that backing, so the glue soaks in. The edge paint soaks in. The glue we got to stick, um, I did try 3M spray adhesive. That worked a little better, um, but at the same time, you get overspray, and it, it's not super conducive to making wallets by hand. You know what I mean? Like, you have to spray everything. So um, I just don't think it's for me for right now. I think that luckily these uh, companies are run like tech companies, so they're putting out multiple generations of product, and then things are always evolving. I think that the cactus leather is the closest, as I said, and I'm excited to see what the next couple generations of this comp turn out to be. Um, I think that it is possible, and we have plant-based plastics now, so it is totally possible to create a plant-based polyester type material and make the entire thing from plant-based materials so that they are biodegradable and they don't, um, the creation of them is more gentle on the environment than leather. But for right now, I don't think it's there yet. So those are my thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you in the next one.